All right, so we're going to take a quick look at how the leap motion works with Google Earth. If you play with it, the first thing you're going to notice is if you put your hand over it, Google Earth just starts spinning like mad. As soon as you reach over it, it just kind of goes nuts. So the first little tip, make your hand into a fist. When we put that over, a leap won't care. It won't do anything with a fist. So once you get roughly square over it, open your hand up and open it wide. Use lots of fingers so it can detect where you are. Um, I don't know if you can see, there's a little dot in the center of the screen to sort of show where over the leap you are. The more in the center you can keep that, the better, um, just to get it stable. And then you can slowly start making movements to control it. So um, we can twist to the sides. Um, we'll go in a little bit. To zoom in, we just move down toward the leap, just straight down. Um, we can move forward to spin the globe that way, move to whichever side we want. Um, we'll twist again here, kind of get centered over the U.S. roughly. A little finicky. Um, the Atlanta Braves have a game this evening, so we'll go zoom in and try to find Turner Field. That'll kind of be our goal. Um, so looking at the U.S. here, again, we can sort of strafe side to side just by moving our hands or forward and back. Um, we can tilt. Oops, let me get centered here again. Tilt by just tilting our hand down, tilting it up. Um, and then, of course, we can zoom in and out. So we'll kind of zoom down. And what's neat is it kind of works like the Space Navigator, where you can do multiple things at once. So we can kind of zoom down and be tilting do a few things at once, which is difficult to do with just the mouse. Um, that's why we like the Space Navigator so well. Um, and this, this sort of serves that same purpose. So if we fly into Atlanta here, trying to find where the Braves are playing, as things load up, here's Turner Field. And so we'll get in close, we can kind of tilt back now, get a nice view. And then again, we can sort of strafe to one side and spin to sort of get the hovering around effect, which is nice. We want to kind of tilt in a little more and pull back out. So really it's not a bad experience. The problem, of course, is I've been doing this for a minute. My arms are a little tired from hanging up in the air, whereas with the old Space Navigator on the desk, you know, it's, it's easier to do for long periods of time. Uh, but again, the leap, the leap is pretty cool. It takes some getting used to, especially when you first jump in. Even if you come in with a fist, you never know quite where your hand's going to be when you open it. and It's going to react to that and start spinning a bit. So it, it takes a little getting used to. But I've only been playing maybe a half hour or so. I've got a pretty good, pretty good grip on it. So, it's a fun little tool, it does a nice job, very responsive to your movements. Um, of course, that's largely dependent on the speed of your computer and video card and what features in Google Earth you have turned on, but I mean, as soon as I make any movement, it responds instantly. It really does a great job of that. Uh, so, yeah, if you have a need for it, Leap Motion is a pretty cool way to control Google Earth. I still tend to think I'll use the Space Navigator more often just in day-to-day -day work, just because it's easier and faster and less tiring, but this is certainly a great way to really fly around and check things out. So give it a shot. Thanks.